Ready, sir? I am ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. I love engines. I uh, used to work on my motorcycle all the time. This may be known to you, but a lot of people these days don't even know how their engine works anymore because they're too complicated to work on. So, parts of the engine. Up here you've got the valves. This is the intake and this is the exhaust valve. Uh, the spark plug in the middle, most people recognise the spark plug. You've got the piston. The cylinder is what's around the piston. There's a con rod or a connecting rod here what's known as the little end and the big end, and then the crash <laughs> down here. <laughs> okay, so what happens, this is a four-stroke engine I'm describing here. There's many different configurations of engine. This is the most common one. What happens, th this uh, cycle is known as the, uh, the suck, squeeze, bang, blow cycle, also known as intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. So the first part, the first stroke, is the piston moves down, and draws air in through the intake valve. The intake valve is pushed down. It, it draws air and fuel in <coughs> to the combustion chamber. Wait, how do you get it to move down? It's already yeah. turning. There, 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 is, <laughs> there is momentum. Uh, you, you, you assume there's momentum. Uh, what, what happens next? It reaches the bottom, the valve closes, the piston comes back up and it compresses the fuel and the air mixture. It gets it right to the top, to its, to its maximum compression, uh, where it's at its most explosive, and then there's a spark. The spark causes the explosion, which pushes the piston back down again. This is the power stroke. Uh, it, it pushes it back down, and then, once again, momentum carries the piston back up again, and this time the exhaust valve opens, and it sends the, the burnt fuel and air mixture out of the exhaust port. And then the whole thing happens again. <coughs> and that's why it's known as the four stroke, because it only has a power uh, a power push or a power pulse every four strokes or every two cycles of the engine. So that's that's the, the basics. Now you can see how it actually moves up here. There's a nice animation. This is Wikipedia, by the way. Uh, very nice resource on it. So you can see here, you've got, let's start, so the intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. And it repeats that. Okay, how am I going to decide? Okay, good. So, how do you get more power out of an engine? Uh, basically, pretty much every way you get power out of an engine involves getting more air and more fuel into the combustion chamber. The first and most obvious way of doing this is to increase the displacement. That's the, to increase the size of the pistons, the size of the cylinder, or the stroke, the length of the stroke. Uh, the more displacement you have, this is measured in cubic inches or cubic centimeters usually, uh, the, mo the more power you get. But there are other ways to do it. So one, one way, a lot of people <coughs> with more powerful cars notice, in cold weather, their car runs better. It produces more power. Cold air is more compressed going into the combustion mm -hmm. chamber. When the explosion happens, it has more force. Uh, another way people messed with in the past was actually to int introduce some moisture into the intake. Uh, this was an early form of performance tuning. The moisture would turn into steam. Uh, at the time of uh, the, the, the burning or the uh, combustion and would provide extra power. A newer version of this is nitrous. Uh, what happens with nitrous is you inject nitrogen and dioxide, two, oxi two oxygens, and as the explosion happens, the nitrogen gives up its two oxygens and they form a second burn, which pushes the piston down harder. Uh, other ways though, and they, these are some of the more uh, common ones these days, nitrous is very bad for the engine. Um, nitrous is very bad for the engine. Uh, it, you can only run it for about 30 seconds at a time. Turbochargers and superchargers are another way of doing this. What they do, both of these, they, they compress the air that comes into the combustion chamber. Superchargers take the, the uh, power to do this directly from the crankshaft. They're driven all the time. This means they're less efficient because they're always putting, putting compressed air in. You have to increase the fuel that goes in as a result. And so no matter what the engine's doing, you're always burning more fuel. Whereas a turbocharger uses the exhaust gases to power the compression coming into the engine. What this means is when you put your foot down, or twist the, twist the grip on the motorcycle, the, it, it, there's a lag, which is known as the turbo lag, but as the exhaust gases create more pressure, they end up forcing more air into the combustion chamber, and as a result, you only get the power when you need it, or when you ask for it. So turbo is a much more fuel-efficient way of getting the same thing, but there's a, there's a lag involved. 
And I think that's probably good. I'll, I'll stop there. Okay. No. We have a Ooh. question. How yeah. long have we been using the same design for an engine? The, this dates back to turn of the century, turn of the last century. So, I mean, a long, long time. The, the technology that has, is used has uh, greatly been approved. Uh, in that but time, the concept, but the basic concept yeah. is the that same. Depends with yeah, yeah, a long, 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 long time. Uh, things that have, uh, I'm running over, so I'll take this offline. But uh, th uh, mostly, things that have improved are the compression ratios. So the amount that the squeeze, the amount of the squeeze, <coughs> has greatly in increased. And more squeeze means you make better fuel, which is why you get different octane ratings at the gas pump. Higher compression engines need a higher octane rating, otherwise the the uh, explosion happens too early. Also, the valves. Tesla motor is doing Who is it? Oh, yeah, more valves. Diesel? Faster intake. Tesla. Oh, Tesla. Yeah, yeah.